We now arrive at our final subject, molecular and empirical formulas. For reasons that we won't learn until a much later chapter, chemists have devised different ways of reporting the number and types of atoms in a molecule. One way is called that molecule's molecular formula, and the other is called its empirical formula. Simply put, chemical formulas that show the actual numbers and names of all of the atoms in the actual molecule are called its molecular formula. Formulas that give only the relative ratios of each type of atom in the molecule are called its empirical formula. Let's take a closer look at that by checking out another problem. The empirical formula of a compound with molecules containing 12 carbon atoms, 14 hydrogen atoms, and 6 oxygen atoms is what? So how do we do this problem? Let's take a look. In this problem we're told that each molecule of this particular compound contains 12 C's, 14 H's, and 6 O's. That means that this compound's actual molecular formula is C12H14O6. But what is its empirical formula? Well, to get this, we reduce each subscript to the lowest whole number. In this case, that happens by dividing each subscript by the number 2. Hence, this compound's empirical formula is C6H7O3. This leads us to the final question. Which compounds do not have the same empirical formula? I'll let you look at each of these options and see if you can determine the correct answer. With that said, I think this is a wonderful place for us to stop. Please tune in to our next lecture, Chapter 2, Part 2, in which we'll finish our discussion on atoms, molecules, and ions. Until then, see you later.